Hello everyone, this is Ryan Mallory for SharePlanner.com. Today is December 13th, 2012. And uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a quick uh, rundown of the S&P 500. Obviously, we're seeing a lot of red out there on this 30-minute uh, chart. Down here in the left-hand corner, you can see for the most part, I mean, after having a flat open and a, and a quasi attempt to move higher, we've just sold off and pretty much all of that came at the heels of of a bunch of gutless politicians that can't keep their mouth shut and uh, just simply get things done, you know, and, and use a little common sense. They don't like that. I could go on and on about that. I get a little irritated by talking about it, not because it's, you know, wiped out some of the gains in my long positions today, but it's just simply it's uh, it's just a bunch of nonsense in general. They they, they act like kids and, and spoiled brats up there and... and uh, for the most part, I'm just sort of tired of it. But to not get sidetracked here, uh, just one thing you want to watch with this S&P here. You're, we're hitting like a three-day low on the S&P. Anyway, you got what I would call like an evening star bearish candle pattern here. We have a strong day up, followed by like a shooting star pattern here in the middle, and then a similar day to the first day, but on the third day in the opposite direction instead. And uh, we're testing that eight-day EMA, which I think... Um, isn't a good sign either. So right now we're we're no doubt oversold, basically from when the the politicians yesterday started blabbing and uh, you know running their mouths and the market tanked. We're we've gone from fourteen thirty eight all the way down to four eighteen. That's a twenty point reversal, and uh, we're we're continuing to move lower as we speak. So. Uh, that's a 20 point pullback nearing 2% off the highs of this rally from the November lows. I've got about, you know, five or six long positions. I'm probably going to curb about five long positions. I'm going to curb one of them off the portfolio by today and probably add a short position before the, the close. So that's my approach to this market and what I'm looking to accomplish. Go ahead and look at some individual stocks that y'all been talking about. Primarily coming from the Splash Zone, which is our uh, our chat room. Um, first one, Guild. But you guys can also send them to me, hitting me up at at Share Planner and uh, or email with Ryan at SharePlanner.com. I try to get to those if uh, time allows, but um, Splash Zone is probably definitely the place to uh, make sure that your voices are heard. Guild, it's it's having a similar price action to what the S&P has had in the last three days, that evening star pattern that I'm telling you about. Um, I don't see anything that's worth trading at this point on Guild. You have this huge gap up that if it breaks below $72, there's a good chance you're going to see a uh, an attempt to fill the gap there. So the gap fill would be at 65 which would be $10 lower or 10% lower from the point of the gap so that's the only thing I would keep in mind on this stock here but I don't see anything worth playing to the long side and short side there's just nothing developing or uh, ready to take action on yet besides what I just told you CMG I got into this today at the open uh, you know it hasn't hurt me yet I, I'm at 278.15 I got my stop loss at 268 flat uh, targets at 302 I'm not really upset yet by by anything that we're seeing in this uh, it's holding strong despite the market just acting like a piece of garbage today uh, what you have here though that that really appeals to me is this consolidation the little double bottom here and uh, the, the the clear level of to, to break out on and you have resistance here and resistance here that that was pre previously stymied any kind of attempt to get over that 278 level but we did today we moved much higher and then of course uh, Boehner and Pelosi start you know yakking away and that's what's basically taken away the early momentum in this one but I do think it's in play and I do think it's uh, worth going long on Google G O O G inverse head and shoulders pattern right here okay left shoulder head right shoulder I really like this stock a lot um, I chose to get into CMG over Google this morning but I'm becoming a bit tempted to go long on this one I know it's given up a lot of the day's gains that it saw earlier it was trading at 716 now it's at 703 um, but it's definitely appealing I mean that's a very concrete 
technical pattern there. Some will say that the neckline though is at 706, so it might be a few bucks below it. I would probably say that instead, just do a straight horizontal price level and uh, use like 703 for, for the support level. That's what I would use anyways. And it also helps keep risk a little bit tighter. So it's sort of subjective, but that's what I would go with. UA. Under Armour, bearish overall, you got this uh, longer term head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And uh, you got the breakdown confirmed a while back. So that's, that's done and over with. But what you do have here is a uh, after it confirmed it, it's bounced back up to this confirmation level a couple of times not a real clean chart but what you do have taking place here now is a break below key support level and this support level is more of a range rather than one definite price level so i would mark whoops i would mark the the key support range come on mouse all right here we go I would mark the support level right around this area here. So between 48 or about 49.50 and 47.25, you have a clear uh, level where it could find support. It's dipped in the middle of it right now. So anytime in here, you could expect a bounce. Um, but yeah, this one's definitely moving bearish at this point. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to try and go short at it this point. What I would probably do though is use this current downtrend in the short term to your advantage so that if it breaks back above that line, you know to get out. So right now it would probably be at, and it's going to get smaller and smaller every day. So like 51, 55 right now, which is about 6%, but assuming it, it doesn't have like some breakneck rally, uh, the next day you could probably drop it down to like 51.90 or I'm sorry, $50.90. So you should be able to rapidly decrease that stop loss the longer that you're in the short position. And then get out of it once it breaks through it. CLF. This is another one. I, I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of trying to get long or short on this stock right now. The, the nearest resistance level is probably around this 36, 34 level. Actually, let's move it up some. $38 is probably the nearest significant res uh, resistance level. So I wouldn't go short unless it made a pop all the way up to there. And uh, some some might say there's a resistance level here at 33.15 because of this little, little point there. But I would consider more of an outlier from the previous resistance level that was broken. So I don't put much weight on that being resistance there. Um, as far as going long on it, there's, there's no clear edge for me to get long on this stock. So, Facebook. Folks in the splash zone were talking about there being some developments there. So I wanted to give it a look. Uh, wow, the, if you look at the five-minute chart here in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see there's some pretty fantastic movements taking place there. And I don't know what the, uh, the news is on Facebook moving like that, but... Uh, that's no doubt significant. I mean, it goes from 28.50 down to 27.80. That's about a 3% move within a one five minute candle. Uh, if you look at it from a one minute chart, you can see that move took place over three minutes. So definitely, uh, definitely something weird on it. Uh, it, it. You know, I can't put my finger on it, but uh, it looks like it's bounced nicely off of those lows. But if you look at the daily though, the daily looks really good. Um, And this definitely has the potential to be a strong breakout play. So the ideal place to get long at would be 28.12, which is only about three cents away. Put your stop loss below the day's lows or just below that eight day EMA that it seems to be riding up quite nicely, which would be 27.35. And uh, that's where you'd probably get long at. So right now it's actually hitting that trigger price if you're interested in getting into it.
but you're going to have to probably run with about a 3% stop loss, a little less than a 4% stop loss on it. So well, that's going to do it for uh, the charts today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up um, on Twitter or email or in the Splash Zone, and I'd be glad to get to you. Like I said, again, Splash Zone is the best place to get, get me or any of the other folks on SharePlanner. Y'all have a great evening, and God bless.